The Diagnostic Framework on Government Local Currency Bond Market, or LCBM, considers some fundamental macrofinancial conditions as key enablers for market development. These are in addition to the six building blocks to assess the stage of development of the LCBM. In this video, we will introduce some co-enabling conditions that influence the demand and supply of government securities to support a country's LCBM. They comprise macroeconomic conditions, government's financing needs, economic structure, fiscal and debt positions, monetary and exchange rate conditions, financial sector soundness, and debt management capacity and operating procedures. Let's learn more about each of these. Stable macroeconomic conditions bolstered by a credible macroeconomic policy framework anchor investor confidence by preserving the value of their debt holdings. On the other hand, investor confidence will remain eroded for some time for a country that has recently experienced a sovereign debt, banking or currency crisis, thereby impacting market development. The next prerequisite for LCBM development is that the annual fiscal requirements should generate adequate financing needs. However, the composition of financing is also important. Too much reliance on external borrowings, for example, could limit the need for sufficient domestic market financing and therefore limit LCBM development. Another structural factor for LCBM development is the size of the economy and domestic savings space. This space determines the absorption capacity of the bond market. For small economies with shallow financial systems, there are inherent limits on the depth of the LCBM. Next, let's explore sound fiscal and debt position of a country as a factor that supports the primary market. Investor aversion from sovereigns with unsustainable fiscal position and high risk of debt distress could impact the demand for government securities. A high degree of credit risk would also raise the cost of borrowings, raising the temptation for the government to rely on financial repression through policies that might direct funds towards government that would otherwise go to other investments. Now, let's look at the impact of monetary and exchange rate conditions. Stable monetary conditions based on market-based monetary policy framework enhance investor certainty and facilitate the government to issue cost-effective long-term securities in local currency. In contrast, excessive inflation and exchange rate volatility could increase the term premium involving higher interest rates for longer maturities. Greater exchange rate volatility could also dampen the demand for local currency assets. Another factor that plays a key role in LCBM development is the financial sector, particularly the banks. The financial sector acts both as an investor and as an intermediary. Any concerns about financial sector stability and soundness could impede the banking sector from playing its role within the LCBM, especially for secondary market liquidity, for trading securities, and for their own liquidity management. Finally, sound debt management practices also affect the prospects for LCBM development. For instance, the legal framework and institutional arrangements should have a clear responsibility for a single entity to issue debt and execute operations on behalf of the government. This entity should have adequate capacity to manage debt and lead bond market reforms, and there should be sound operating procedures that include formulation and implementation of a debt management strategy that guides LCBM development. In conclusion, the overall state of the enabling conditions influences the pace of developing LCBMs.